Welcome everybody to the world of Wraithmeyer. Um, let's get things started off with a recap. Episode nope. one. <laughs> <laughs> We've had episode one already. Remember that? <laughs> don't, don't dispute the dice, Game Master. Okay. Why don't we roll a die every time we start an episode, and then and then that determines and then we'll what the episode order. it is. We'll put them in order of the roll, so then... Okay, but then it's going to be percentile, so... Yeah, okay. So, so aren't I? This is episode two. Okay. So wow, you rolled a two, two on a percentile? Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, fine. Seeing as you're in a rolly mood, let's all roll a uh, d12 then. Okay, and then... and then add the results together, and that's the episode. No, and add your proficiency <laughs> bonus. <laughs> What is your provision? What's my proficiency bonus? Proficiency bonus is oh, two. Oh. No, Roll two. Yeah. Do I have a... You have a proficiency bonus of ten. Nice. <laughs> so, Episode twelve. So twelve? I got mm. five. What did you get? None. Five. All right, Brandon, you're higher. Give okay. us the recap. Okay. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> ten. Because <laughs> so, where did the last episode start? Because we recorded two last time, right? We did. Anyway, somewhere in there. I don't remember. You know... I got kidnapped or something. The humans got kidnapped by a, a gang of angry half orcs, and got taken to some some dank cellar in the middle of town, not in the middle of town, in the edge of town. And uh, the half orcs were, I don't know, screwing around on the way home, whatever they had to do. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> they were sleeping, and then, then they woke uh, up, and then they saw talked to the dudes. And everyone had cool dreams. Yeah, we did. Uh, Continue. Penelope was like, definitely heard you in her dream, but didn't have the presence of mind to wake oh, yeah. up about <laughs> That's it. That's right. <laughs> because, you know, it was probably just a dream anyways. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they woke that. up and they had breakfast and stuff, and they're like, that's weird, where are those humans of ours? And you guys weren't in your rooms, even though the doors well, were Well, we locked. talked to Hector first. Yeah, Hector, your bro Hector. And then, uh, oh, and there was the guy waiting for you in the <clears throat> tavern. He wanted to talk to you. Later. Hector. Tavernier? Oh, yeah. Hector. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant the barkeep guy. No, you no, talked to him after. That's Watua. You, you had, like, strong arm yeah. Watua to get... Yeah. I can't remember. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Hector's our, our, our uh, uh, resistance man. Yeah, exactly. Hector and Billy. Billy? Benny. B- Benny. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said it out loud, it sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great Good recap. recap. <laughs> yeah, so then what happened? I don't know. You guys talked about it or whatever, and then what to, uh, <laughs> went and got Hector back, and and then you get, and he was like, "You're gonna join the resistance?" And you guys were like, "Nah, maybe I don't know." Where's our friends? And they were like, "Oh, down the street, yo!" And they took you to a, a house where like all the angry orcs were like on the verge of killing. Well, they weren't orcs; they were half orcs, and when they were on the verge of killing. Uh, Vincent and Lander, yeah, that's their names. And then, uh, and then Hector and Buddy, whose name you don't know yet, right? Yep. The name was never revealed. So no, because right. him and Hector went and talked for a while, and then yeah, they yeah, came yeah. back. And then they came back, and, and then like, we ended it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, cool, we have a plan or whatever. Let's do this thing. And then they like, and then fade to black, and then the movie phone guy's voice comes over and is like, this summer, action. And adventure <laughs> unite in this film about those things. July nope. 2017. Nope. That didn't that happen. Didn't happen. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it happened. I think that's what it said. What else? What okay, else so then what happened, Brandon? I don't know. I just recently got up from a nap, and this is the best apple crisp I've ever had in my life. Thank you. I just you. wanted that to be in the episode that's somehow. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's in there now, for sure. <laughs> um, so. I found a new rock. You heard it here first. Is that where we ended the episode? Yeah. We ended with them saying, <laughs> yeah. welcome to the resistance. They stepped out of the room and they were like, let's, let's do a thing. But we never accepted, did we? No, we no, ended no. it. You were sort we of didn't even accepted get a by implication talk. because, uh, you know, I think at that point if they had, if you said no, they would have reconsidered killing your friends. I don't know. Right. Well, uh, we would have killed them all first, but whatever. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. We're not probably going to do that, no. <laughs> even okay, though really tell us what happens next. Everybody roll initiative. What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Gotta move my bread and cheese. Back to that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, There's a lot of stuff behind that screen. Did someone take my pencil? You threw them all on the here. table. Damn it, I need the green one. Do you need the green one? No, the other green one. Dude, <laughs> what is happening right now? It's so crazy. <laughs> Are we gonna play? Yeah, we're gonna play. You see my pencil. Why? It's been a long day! <laughs> that one right there. On that. <laughs> okay, I don't know where it went. Just I, use any pencil. Who cares? Who cares? Use this <laughs> thing. It matters to me. He rubs his whole oven and I need the pencil. <laughs> you have to illustrate it. <laughs> I'm just tired, okay? <laughs> I don't see a pencil. We're starting. Well, it's that one on the table. Is that one green? No, that's a pen. <laughs> what the hell? It was right here. <laughs> what? Oh, what a weird day. I'm going to have to edit so much of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no recap. I'm going to have to edit the whole <laughs> yeah, This is your idea. <laughs> what was my idea? I don't know. Making me do the recaps now. <laughs> it was the nicest <laughs> idea, okay? Hey, it's man. Your, could have been low rolled up. It's your proficiency bonus. Yeah, I plus don't... ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's what did it. <laughs> I don't mean to have such a high proficiency bonus. <laughs> You're just so proficient in being a DM. That's right. Not I, thought it would be so I thought it would be a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Oh. okay. All right, let's do this. Okay, so Benny walks out of the room with uh, the friend. Or not Benny. I mean, Hector walks out of the room with the friend whose name you don't know yet. And uh, orcs have quieted down. They're no longer talking murder. And everybody suddenly seems unified at that moment of sort of leadership. So, uh, and Hector, uh, again, like, just recapping, right, re- addresses the room like, okay, I think that we can work together to do something good here. Um, first, let me just, by way of introduction, uh, this is Quincy, and he gestures towards mm. the, the guy who was so recently uh, threatening to murder Lander and Vincent. And he says, um, uh, we know that um, the king is uh, preparing to send supplies to Ironcrest. Um, we know that um, our our inside sources also tell us that he's like siphoning off the top, and he's like he's like keeping a number of the donations for himself. Really? So yeah, because people aren't just yeah, donating food right. and like supplies. Um, some people that have the means to do so, uh, especially the neighboring kingdoms, have been donating uh, wealth just in terms of like gold and money and jewelry and, and things that can be exchanged for goods and services. So uh, he's he's been skimming off the top and he's been like taking uh, a lot of like what he thinks is the most valuable items and keeping them for himself. They're not going to Ironcrest at all. Um, mm. That's just one more incidence of his um, betrayal of the people, one more incidence of his um, corrupt uh, influence in the kingdom and uh, just yet another reason that um, uh, he needs to be overthrown. But why this is relevant to us as a resistance is that if we uh, are were to break into his storerooms and steal uh, the gold that he's been stealing from the people, then we would have sufficient wealth to raise a small militia and um, thereby grow our cause. Because, I mean, right now we're, what, 20 people in a room? We're not going to overthrow a kingdom with 20 people in a room. Okay. Is this everyone that you have? This currently are all the people that we trust within the tight circle to the resistance. If we start talking too openly about overthrowing a monarch, that's how people get hung. So we haven't been talking. It's not the all the half works in the kingdom would be for this, at least the ones that aren't under the heel of the king. So it's not a matter of whether or not we have support of uh, any of the half works, but even I don't know, even neighboring cities, dwarves, um, maybe less so, but. Anyone that's not human has some reason to be involved in this cause. It's not a tough sell, I don't think. I would even go as far as to say humans should as well. Uh, any righteous human? Absolutely. And I would also go as far as to say the practice of stealing random humans from their beds and this tent, murdering them is probably not the best practice either. <clears throat> And we apologize for that. You apologize. <laughs> we do. Yeah. So uh, I, I was talking to uh, Travik earlier about how our resistance lacks leadership. Uh, <coughs> is this Hector talking? No, this is... Now? Yeah, oh, yeah, this is Hector. Yeah, oh, that's right. This is all that's Hector. Good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, it, our resistance lacks leadership. We, we want to do well and we want to do right. And we know that our cause is just... We're self-aware enough to know that we're not intelligent people 
Um, we're not learned. We haven't been educated. We're not by any means generals or um, great warriors. We're, we're common folk. Okay. Um, we just have a just cause. Given that the cause is just, um, it sometimes gets a little out of hand. Uh, we know that the king has been having these uh, luxurious banquets at his uh, at his hall this for the last um, seven days, ever since um, people started coming to town with um, wealth and riches and, and um, donations for the supposed blight in Ironcrest. Mm. And he's been taking advantage of that to build political popularity outside of the kingdom. And we had discussed previously as a group the idea of subverting... Um, that popularity and sending a message not only to the king himself but also to the supporters of the king by kidnapping um, s- someone that had been to the dinner. Um, and, and, mm. and it happened to be you, and, and aren't we all a little bit glad that it was you and not someone else? Um, but unfortunately, that sort of went forward without further planning, and at this he sort of glares at Quincy. Mm. So this is, you know, and of course, you know, we apologize and... and we want to make it right, but um, you're sort of caught in the middle of something that's greater than yourselves at this point. Well, it definitely sounds like you need some some leadership, for sure. We do. Uh, we absolutely do. And we're just gonna take. Should this we talk word? about this first as no. like a four group? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. I think uh, before we do that, is it, what what are all the accusations you have against the king? I know what you said so far are. Um, uh, blatant uh, um, racism <laughs> against your kind. Um, is it just half orcs that he's that he's like this against, or is he? No, he re- he. The king seems to look upon all other races besides human as them being lower. The only the only race that's maybe in question of that is elves. Oh, okay, but he he's he subjugates at all others. Absolutely, including dwarves, though they seem blind to it, probably mm-hmm. because of their own stubbornness and pride, if I'm being totally honest. Okay, and then yeah. he steals from the caravans, or takes a bit off the top of the caravans? He's, well, that's what he's doing currently. This is a recent development, but he's been overtaxing the people to keep them in poverty for years. Mm-hmm. And of course, with poverty comes you know, the crime and, and other problems associated with um, like low-income cultures, where yep. well, it's, it's been a problem throughout the kingdom, but he's literally walled himself off from that the inner city is mm-hmm. um at total peace and it has like none of the same problems as the rest of even the city um much less the surrounding area and so he's he's isolated himself in ways that protect him from all the negatives but he's he's living off of the backs of our labor okay and if that doesn't call for revolution i don't know it does if um, if your plan is to get rid of, it sounds like your plan is to get rid of the king. Um, what then would take the king's place? Um, whom, or is it more of a democracy type of situation? How, what, what is going to further? Because if some, if we kill him and someone the exact same just gets into his place, then we've done nothing. My lady, you're absolutely right, and and. I don't have an answer for you. We lack the leadership to, for even a small band of rebel militia, much less, you know, trying to throw together leadership for an entire kingdom. We have our our plans don't extend that far. We really haven't, like I say, we, we're not educated. Mm-hmm. We don't know. We just know. Would that Vincent know what the is. government type is here, or like how it rules? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Like yeah. a like it's a traditional monarchy. It's a monarchy. Um, so it's uh, rule is passed from father to son. Um, and Does he do have we know a son? Of any heirs to the kingdom? Um, currently, the king ha- king has no heirs. No, no kids. Yeah. How old is he? He's in his like thirties. Oh, he's not, he's not very he's old. Young. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Well, and he's married. married. There's a queen. He's not married. No. He's not married. He's not married. You need to get him a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, a woman. Yeah. Or, true. Okay. True. Or, I mean, maybe the king probably would be interested in me. But <laughs> well, if there's if there's no heir, then is there just a new line? That's what I'm saying. If yeah. this, okay, thank you so much, Hector. Do you mind if we have a little moment to ourselves? Well, to you, can, you can use the cellar. You just <laughs> the stairs. And the I, 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 <laughs> okay. Wait, the one we're in right now? <laughs> no, you guys are upstairs. 
Oh, we yeah, left. Remember, remember they brought you upstairs? Oh, I don't remember that, no. Not you. They brought them upstairs. Oh. And yeah, to yeah, right. yeah, threaten to them. Question them, threaten them, and like sort of figure out what to do, and then, oh. and then that's when thoughts turn to murder. <laughs> okay, let's go downstairs and let's talk. Yeah, let's go okay. downstairs to where you guys are keeping. We go downstairs. Them. Yeah, you do. It's dark. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. The classic like color. someone. <laughs> dungeon stench and mildew. I mean, how's that? No way. Dungeon it? walls. Is this where they were being kept? Where yes. we go? Yeah, okay. There's uh, hay on the floor in, inside of a room that you can see, but the hallway is uh, bare stone. Right. I kick the hay. Uh. <laughs> 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 stupid hay. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, dare they? What do you guys think? Roll initiative against the hay, please. <laughs> <laughs> 20. Netflix. The hay kicks back. <laughs> <laughs> Two damage. Um, I think that. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. I think it's not. Here's the thing we also need to think about who is going to be in charge after him if this right. were to happen. Also, um. We, we need to have, like, I mean, we can have hearsay, but I don't know all these accusations. Obviously, we know he's racist. Yeah, I that mean, one I've confirmed. Yeah. yeah, but we don't we don't have any specific um, evidence to, to hold up stealing. against what they're saying. Do sure. we know that he's stealing off the top? We don't know that. It's just word of mouth at this point. It's true. Yeah. I think that there are ways to find that out. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. You know? So I think we need to like look into some things too. It might be very fortuitous for us at this moment that he has no heir. You know, if we were mm-hmm. going to do this now, yeah, because be usually, time, because usually, what happens, be, you want to kill that person, right? It might go to a distant relative, though. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So we should find out. An uncle, it could go to a cousin, it could go to something like that, and so. I mean, I guess the we biggest might have to question: talk to with his family. Are we going to do this? Are we going to help them? I think. Uh, <laughs> okay. I need to be very careful going forward here because I could start a war between two nations based off of my um, my nobility, <laughs> right? So if I am to help out, it's going to be very discreet. Uh, and it's got to be very delicate. So, Well, that means that your face shouldn't be part of the rebellion. But if my face or her face is, that's all right because, I mean, our faces are kind of... Orcish? There are Orcish. the problem as well is that the king knows of That's not true. your presence specifically, but he knows that I am traveling with two half orcs. That's true. Mm. So that right there, if there's any uprising, is already a big red flag in his mind. You know. True. But if he, you know, maybe we should just kill him. Well, that's. Oh, I've never said that was out of the possibility. I'm just saying <laughs> there's there got to be a right way to do it. It's not as easy. It sounds so easy. Just kill him, but there's a lot of stuff in that, involved with that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you don't have a sniper rifle? Mm, a what? Sorry. I used to. <laughs> Sorry, who said that? <laughs> also, you, what is that? You hear a voice from upstairs. Do you have a sniper rifle? <laughs> <laughs> Even that would be tricky. Okay. Um, okay. Well, here can we just talk about if we do not move forward? What would be our plan of action? Or are we for sure going to join Well, this? there's one thing we can do. We can take... I mean, like, there's a caravan leaving anyway soon. We can put a pause on the revolution, but not even really. We can investigate the caravan, and then... That's a good idea. If I'm kind of there with the caravan, I can kind of keep an eye out of, as to where the, all the goods are going, right? The problem is that we're leaving here, so when we get back, we'll be able to see yeah. more about no, I think, what I think it that's takes. Good idea. That could be future. That could be way down the road, though. And I don't know if we want to leave these people to suffer this long, but yeah, because we don't know we're going to come back. We might run into more crap down in yeah, we, who Iron knows? Crest or whatever. Well, we yeah. As far as we know, this is pretty pressing, so we might want to be coming back as soon as we can. But so that's an option to confirm that that um, uh, accusation, right? Mm-hmm. So if we confirm that, then we know that at least we can get some of the humans to, to uprise as well, right? Because I don't think the half-orc population... I think what the king has done is he's he's created a fissure between the two people, right? So he mm-hmm. has his alliance of... Like, I don't think any of the humans are really against his rule. Mm-hmm. As they might be against his policies of, like, why half-orcs are never around, but a lot of them are probably oblivious to all of that, right? But if we can get the humans involved by saying that he's cheating out you know, goods and, and money from the caravans, then we could have a Plus an entire overtaxing city. them. And, and, over, and the whole case to... of him overtaxing is a problem as well. Right. But. Well, 
And then when does the Karen Le- van leave? We don't know, right? I think it's in a few days, is what you told me when you talked to that guy. Right. And so what, so what that we... could be like any day now, because it's been like... Well, it's been a day, right? Yeah, we yeah. slept one night. Slept um, what we could do is we could um, we could talk to Hector and, I don't know, like, teach him some stuff while we're here. I don't know, like... Well, like we what? could teach him, I don't know, how to read. <laughs> how to read? <laughs> Yes. Um, well, that would be helpful. Yeah. Like, well, I don't know, just we, some we stuff. could help him out with some information, maybe that he needs, or like help him yeah. plan some things. Maybe not be the forefront of this yeah, of the revolution. Yeah, but maybe but we could help. Play a big part in it. Yeah, and I, then yeah. go investigate mm-hmm. and come back and see where he's mm-hmm. at. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because he, he might like, like, yeah. would you be able to supply the revolution with some uh, dinero? Excuse me? Is that dwarvish? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's some money. Um, yeah, I have like 27 gold on me. <laughs> Remember, I left my kingdom, so I don't have right. access to their wealth at this time. I'm just thinking that he should be able to build up something while we're gone. Yeah, of course. And there's things that I think we could help him out with. Let's, um, and potentially I think that we're all in agreement, Lander, you as well, that yeah. we should yeah. assist these poor half-orc population and other races, you know, <laughs> and the overtaxing of everyone, and the skimming yeah. of the goods. Anyway, uh, and the system. So, like, we can go ahead and tell the Hector and his buddies that we'll, we'll be, you know, part of working with him in some way or another, whatever mm-hmm. that means. And then maybe we'll request, you know, some further information from them. Maybe there's some specific things that they want us to do or something. But right. Okay. Well, let's do it then. All right. Okay. So we head yeah. out back upstairs. upstairs. Let's do it. Okay, so the room of uh, Half Orcs is eagerly anticipating your uh, return to the room, and you can see like the hope and like brightness in their eyes that you'll offer some kind of salvation for their cause. Um, so when you step back into the center of the room, uh, Hector just, just gestures towards you and asks, what, what, what have you decided? We have uh, decided that we are going to help you guys. We are on your side. Um, we we believe the same as you guys in the fa- in, in the sense that it's unjust what the, is happening with the king. Um, now, because we're on your side, because we want to help you, um, we do have some things of our own that we need to deal. Well, not things of our own, but we do have. Uh, some yeah. other dealing like that. We say. have to we have to find evidence of these accusations that you've been right. saying. So, with with in terms of the skimming of the goods of the caravans, we would like to investigate that ourselves. Um, take that into into our own hands. Um, also, before we begin anything, we do have to stop the kidnapping of any humans. Actually, of anyone in general. Um, there are more civil ways of of getting information. I think from people. And I think that's one thing that we need to agree upon that I should not be having anymore. And that there's some murmuring. <laughs> in the room. Uh, they definitely seem like they uh, are definitely in favor of a more aggressive approach. But having solicited you for leadership, uh, after a, a few moments of murmuring, um, the murmuring dies down and they seem sort of in general acceptance that, okay, fine. And yeah, we're, we're happy to offer our um, intelligence on certain matters um, and we're happy to maybe discuss a better plan of action so that you can achieve your goals um, before we um, head to uh, where is it we're heading Iron to? Ironcrest. Ironcrest. Um, after we get to Ironcrest and we can um, investigate more into uh, these accusations with the king, we are... Our plan is to come back and to help you further in your cause and hopefully um, dethrow the king with uh, everyone, half-orcs, humans, whomever, to help us and understand that they're under a king who is not having their best interests at heart. Um, And we also need to have a plan in action of who will be taking over the kingdom after. So that's something else we need to... Mm -hmm. Think about. Yeah, uh, as Penelope said, it's very important that you guys do not devolve to the same state as the king and his people by by um, 
by becoming racist towards humans, right? It's easy to feel this hatred that that they are um, openly showing towards you, and it's easy to reciprocate that, but it's you have to be careful not to become those people, right? So not all humans are bad, but there are bad ones. Not all half-orcs are bad, but I'm sure there's some bad ones as well. And so you have to take that into consideration. So, um, yeah. Easy on the punchy punchy. <laughs> I, I guess you hear a little bit more murmuring, but not as much as the first time. Okay. It dies down a lot faster. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. So what was your next course of action? So what, what would you have done with the information I could have given you? Well, the next step is to, get, is to find the location of um, the goods that the king is stealing from the uh, caravans, because we know it's not going directly to his treasury. He's keeping it somewhere else. Okay. And if we can find where he's storing it, then we'll simply go there, take it, mm. and then um, and then I guess maybe in the interim time, while you're away to Ironcrest, um, then we'd be using the funds from that to venture to raise a militia. So okay. perhaps by the time you got back, then there'd be something more here for you to lead than this okay. group of rabble here. Mm. Mm. Um, so the o- the other thing that I'm just thinking out loud here is if you were to be captured during this course you're planning to take do you have a plan in action for if that were to happen do you have some sort of pill that kills you or something what is a pill <laughs> some medicine um, <laughs> that's not hey. some medicine-y <laughs> um, so we've all taken a strict oath of secrecy all, all the men in this room can be trusted um None of us would reveal any information about the resistance or, or anybody in it. Um, there are others that know of the resistance that um, haven't taken that oath of secrecy, but that we trust enough to have consulted with. Um, Watua, your uh, Bart or innkeeper, is having been one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the men in this room are sworn to secrecy and, and will take mm-hmm. the secrets of this revolution to the grave. And if you, we must. Hector. And are you leading this charge then? Well, the discussion with Travik was about whether or not he might lead this charge. Hmm? Um, we feel very strongly that due to his size and strength, as well as his intellectual capabilities, uh, not to mention his, and he pauses for a moment, unique physical characteristics, make him the perfect icon to serve as, as <coughs> the leader in this revolution. Um, and uh, Lady Penelope as well, um, because of her intelligence and, and her strength. That's right. That the pair of them together <laughs> have more combined <laughs> intellect than everyone else okay. in this room. I'm not going to say that's a little racist, so I'm just going to put that out <laughs> now. That you didn't include the humans, but that's fine. Continue. <laughs> and I'm just like puffed up with on. pride. I'm like, finally, people are seeing this. I'm smart too. I'm not just a pretty face. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? This is, this is no, no uh, disrespect intended. Um, you just understand that we're trying to rally a group of half works, and it's maybe a little easier to do so under okay. under the leadership of half works than humans, who they've been subjugated under for years and generations. I think traffic and Penelope would be great. I, well, I have obviously, a question about that. Obviously, we value your, your input as well, and. And it's essentially, uh, the whole fact that you have apparently some kind of access to the castle, um, and perhaps even to the king himself, um, it might be extremely, um, like, much easier for the two of you, and he gestures towards um, Lander and uh, Vincent, to infiltrate the castle and find the location of uh, mm-hmm. the, the secondary treasury or wherever it is that he's storing all this loot in. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> And, and just by virtue of the fact that you're human, there are people that'll talk to you and give you information that, that us and these two would never um, have access to in free. No, I think it's wise. I think it's a good choice, especially at this early on as we're... Because like I was saying earlier, we need to get the entire city on board with this if this is to ever occur. So starting with the half-orcs on the outskirts of the city is a good place to start for sure. And I think they'd be a good face for the uprising. So... Um, so, so then, we, sorry. Go I ahead. was just gonna say maybe we could sit down and hear what their plans are for this. I think that their plans took us to this point. 
I don't think they have further plans. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. So they were looking for leadership. Well, the last so, plan was to take the supplies, right? That's yeah. another. Yeah. yeah. That's well, and so I'm looking wondering... for the treasury. So mm-hmm. that, would, that would be like the next step is like find the treasury, and then the step after that would be like steal the treasure, and then the step after that would be raise a militia using the treasure money. So I was just wondering if they had a plan in place to get like, did they do they have any leads on where we can go mm-hmm. to get this treasure because we as half works are get, it's going to be a lot harder for us to get obviously into the the, the mm-hmm. main city and the That's a Hector thing yeah. Yeah. yeah so I just wasn't sure if they maybe had like a secret tunnel or something that would get us in <laughs> That's there a good point. how would you have done this without us <laughs> uh, unfortunately we don't have any kind of secret tunnel system or anything like that um, it's it's really just a lot of sneaking more than anything. And that's, I mean, we're large, but we're quite oh, enough to good. kidnap both your friends here. Uh, again, no disrespect. Mm. Um, but that's where you two come in. That Obviously, we each have different strengths that we can contribute to this cause. Um, and then the yeah. fact that you aren't orcs is maybe one way that allows you to contribute in ways that the rest of us can't. Okay. And the fact that you two are orcs and intelligent and educated and strong and, and obviously well-versed in the art of war um, makes you the best figureheads for the revolution itself. Um, I, I, question for the DM. How comfortable are they with magic? Um, you wouldn't know that unless you ask them. Okay. You probably okay. shouldn't ask them. <laughs> well, okay, so... Because whatever we do to get into the castle, they just shouldn't know about. Yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except for the what? No, nothing. You're right. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, I was wondering if there's a way we could disguise ourselves to get into the castle. Like you, the, like the two, yes, the two half orcs, uh, Travic and Penelope. I have maybe not a magical such a spell. way to do that. <laughs> no, 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 but maybe someone in town might. But it's more it's your very... size that's maybe hard to hide. You're like my facial features. Cast shape change on Penelope. <laughs> Fine, what shape do you choose? I could call him <laughs> fat. <laughs> fat or as fat as fat meal. <laughs> that's a community uh, reference. Um, I do know that show. <laughs> that was also in the D and D episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fat meal. It's good. It's good stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. What do we do? I'm just checking out my spells right now. I don't think I have anything that can do that right now. I have, I have, I can make people do stuff. I can command, but that's like one thing I can make them do. Um, yeah, I'm like Jedi well, I'm trick person. Pretty much. I'm pretty much a Jedi. Wow. Suggestion is more Jedi Knight though. <laughs> yeah, true. Suggestion's like true. you will do this. Actually, you no, know, command is pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. <laughs> You will not see my face. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking at. <laughs> These are not the two half orcs you're looking at. <laughs> These are not two half orcs at all. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any Jedi powers yet. Um, so, should we. We need to make a plan. Do it to, like before we leave? Probably. Okay, we need to find out when that caravan leaves. Who was the guy that you were talking to before? Let's go to him. Um, his name was... Uh, also, is it safe for us to be... I'm going to turn to Hector and say, Hector, is it safe for humans to be walking around in this area? Because um, last night we got approached by two half-orcs that, that were... Uh, oh, you did? A little unfavorable. Yeah. <laughs> if you give it 24 hours, you won't be harassed in this area of town ever again. In oh. this area of town? Well, I mean, like, the outskirts of town. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can spread the word. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit unsure about that because I don't want my name spread around. Mm. Or the fact that I Not so much name, more just appearance. Okay, well, if you can do that, that would be helpful for sure. Yeah, we can take care of that. Don't worry. Okay. Um, Yeah, I didn't write their names down. Hector? Oh, the other guy? Yeah. It was a half work or was it a human that you were talking about? Um... Other four names, four dudes. I've got Bertha, your Bertha, girlfriend. Bertha but... was one of the ones guarding the. But I, she she was the second one you talked to. Yeah. No, no, no. Bertha was, was not. Chick. Yeah. She was. She was noble. She wasn't anything to do with the caravan. But didn't she come up with the caravan? 
She did, right? Her own caravan from her, her mm. city to there, but she was going back home. She could be a potential... Oh, I should know the answer to this, but I can't read my notations, but I think it's either Albert or Weldon. Uh, there were... Was the... Well, you're talking yeah. about the guy that was, like, in charge of the caravan? Yeah. I, the guy that you talked to that was like, yeah, well, there's one leaving in a couple mm-hmm. of days. I, I could be wrong about either of Well, those. DM, we would remember as characters. Yeah, you would. But we don't remember as players. So yeah. what? how long until the next caravan leaves? Maybe another day and a half. A day and a half. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't give us much time. That's still enough time to come up with a plan and, and do it. All we need is one night to break in and... <laughs> what are you what? wait wait, wait um we're, we're just talking amongst ourselves right now they can't are we still in front of everyone uh I mean like you can have your voices down for sure you but whisper like to the me people closest listening? to you can definitely overhear what well, you're saying okay remember that stuff we found in the box ah uh, yes <laughs> the stuff yeah <laughs> Just Maybe about some about drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have one on um, your hands? Yeah, so, I have the ring on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have one of the rings oh, the on your stuff. Hand. Yeah, and the the <laughs> drawings of the stuff. Oh Ooh. yeah. Potentially, we could go back to the library, and um, find out more of these. Well, you should do that. I would love symbols. To library, yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could use those and in our attempt to break in, light some crap on fire, or explode some walls. Or Wait. there's more symbols that we could potentially learn. That's all I'm saying. But I mean, I love that idea. Point me to the direction of this library. <laughs> As I was so I well, was maybe you guys want to put some clothes on, seeing how you were dragged. We've been having a lot of conversations. <laughs> Maybe we should get some clothes on you. Okay, let's re- let's let's do some some deliberating on our own. And you what, Hector, march out of the door, Hector, is that fully naked. <laughs> you can leave without you. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. You know. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Um, if we ever need to contact you, Hector, are you? Is this your hideout? Is this is your place. Mm, this is simply a safe house. If you need to find us, talk to Atua. Okay. 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 Atua. We will do that. But we should definitely make a plan to reconvene. Okay. Sooner rather okay. than later. Before you let's meet let's tonight. meet tonight. Yes, let's meet tonight. At Watuas? Uh we'll send someone to Watuas to pick you up. Okay. Okay. Works, I guess. Uh yeah. So in the evening sometime. What's this person's name? Uh it'll be it'll be Toba. Toba, okay. You've already met Toba, I think. Have you? Mm-mm. Could be wrong. Oh well, maybe we did but we didn't know his name. He's in this room with the 20 of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Points at one of the half works. Toba nods. Oh, we got Toba, of course. <laughs> he had a smack to Lander here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, re- I know his fists very well. Um, yeah. Okay, all right, then let's go. I need to get some clothes on. <laughs> and you like, walk out oh. only oh. naked in front of all of us. No, no, no. I got my beautiful nightgown on. Remember? Um, yeah, they I got my animal skin they on. were. Oh right, your animals. Right, your animals. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you guys back to what to us? Back to my. Back to oh, you things. have all. You have all our stuff. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. You don't need to change. I forgot. Oh, that's right. We brought it all there. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, get changed. I I've changed. been naked for so long, guys. Want me to roll for, <laughs> for change? Yep. You roll d20. Add your proficiency bonus. That's a 21. 21? Wow. Yeah, you're okay, really... You are so... You're not even the same person anymore. <laughs> My whole countenance changed. Uh, roll on the uh, alignment table to determine your new alignment. So roll, uh, roll d10. Zero doesn't count for anything. Okay. Seven. Seven? Mm-hmm. Oh, dang. You're like... Uh, uh, <laughs> lawful evil. Lawful evil? <laughs> yeah, that's seven. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's burn everything. <laughs> <laughs> but in a lawful way. Did, did Landry get all his clothes right. on, or does he need to make sure that... Oh, uh, no, he needs to roll as well. <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. You're going to dress. You're going to fall in town. All right, let's go, to, let's go to the library, guys. Okay, well, roll go. for alignment, though. I just want to know what you would have got. Uh, what is that? A D10? Roll D10. Five. Five. Oh, you're neutral. True neutral. neutral. True neutral. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty good. Okay, should we go to the library right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, to the library. So we don't have, need to go meet up. We have with... all of our items, though. Did we want to drop anything off? I'm paranoid now. Everybody's yeah, stealing me. I'm just keeping everything on. I don't want we usually keep everything with us. So right now I have that box, but I have the one ring in it. Remember? I have one ring. I have the red ring in here. Them all. Does anyone want to try and put it on? Today? Yes. <laughs> I'll let you do one like try. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Lander would would fit so, nicely with the fire theme. 
Just gonna put that yeah, on there. Yeah, true. Yeah. He, used to fire. he does like fire things. Do you still well, as long as we're in like a concealed area, yeah, we yeah, can open it up. So. And, uh, <laughs> how's you. my how's my symbol on my hand for immunity to fire? Oh, it definitely rubbed off in all the commotion. Oh, it did. Luckily, you're not on fire. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Well, Wait, I remember we removed it though, and it was just no. a warm feeling. No, we didn't remove it. Mm. We never oh, removed no. it. Well, in fact, before I went to bed, I out. Oh I no, it, it, it was the like, knife. Kind of, yeah. It was the knife yeah, that the knife we did that too. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's just go in this alleyway and one of you guys can try it out. <laughs> <laughs> good, good luck in alleys. You guys could. Especially okay, like, just put the, 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 the toothpick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Place it upon wait, are we going to write, are we going to write the symbol on you? Oh yeah, wait, put the, put the, let's yeah, write it on there first. I'll get out my ink. I'll get out my oh, ink man. and my quill. Okay, We're all just huddled <laughs> in this, no, like, no. alley, like, <laughs> over <laughs> this like, box. Like, right next to the house. The orcs start leaving, like, what the hell? Away. <laughs> yeah. I would You've chosen like, a new alley. Yeah, we're in a different alley. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So I'll take Lander's hand and I'll write inscribe on his hand the same thing that yeah, I've wrote on mine. Sure. Yeah, in ink. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. Okay, that should be great. Cool. Uh-huh. Alright, now place the ring upon oh, his finger. Here we go. And I hand it over. <laughs> Middle finger, right hand. Obviously, because they. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and burn them at the same time. <laughs> cool, give me a roll. Not only their oh, emotions, but their physical pain. Oh, uh, any proficiency? Uh... Didn't we add our? Oh no no no! no. I mean, that's right. Yeah, twelve. Take some damage. Oh, but you would. You don't take this damage. Great. <laughs> okay, it's on your hand. You feel a slight warm feeling. Oh. Uh, um, okay. Can I see your character sheet for one second? <laughs> as soon as the anti fire is gonna come off. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I would ask you because I would know this by now. Did you feel any sensation as you? Did, is there any visible markings? Nope. When it? No. Did nope. you feel any warmth at all when you put it yeah, on? He, yeah, he yeah, said he did. Yeah, you yeah. did? Yeah. Okay, I have a feeling like it's not quite right. Because when I put mine on, when I put the black one on my hand, I didn't feel anything. Mm-hmm. But when I put the red one on my hand, I felt like there was some heat coming off of it. Interesting. So, just be wary. If that mark, if we remove the mark, you might start hurting from the rain. So okay. we'll just keep that in mind. Okay. I have a theory. I think that's why. Judging from or my just research. keep scrolling in the, we might have to the keep symbol. It on we can get you tattooed or something. Did you change something on these things? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like erasing. There you see erasing. I had that blink. <laughs> <laughs> you died. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's, or are you just <laughs> writing <laughs> dead <laughs> on the <page>. Deceased. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. okay, so... Well. I'm gonna just keep the box back in my backpack. Okay. Keep it all. Safe. And I'll just be checking it out back. periodically to make yeah. sure that you're okay. still alive. Sounds okay. Good. Off to the library we go. To the library. The library. Okay. Um, <clears throat> by the time you get to the library, it's about noonish on the day it is. So, <laughs> so the caravan is set to leave not this evening, not at any point tomorrow, but the morning of the following day. Does that make sense, everybody? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Day and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day and a half away. Okay. And. Uh, and so, um, it's noon. You're at the library. You have overdue books, Jonathan. <laughs> what I mean by that is you stole some books earlier, so just keep that in mind. Yeah. I did? Yeah, you did. Vincent? Yeah. Or when? Jonathan? No, Vincent did. Oh. <laughs> I was so confused. I never even went to the library. Oh, this is about different books. This is about your books. Never mind. Sorry. This is a different. This is a different note. Oh. Spend a different library. Oh, okay. Spend the library of your childhood. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I do have many books from there. This this library is set up on an interlibrary loan system. <laughs> <laughs> so, all there. I mean, their database across yeah. the nation. Oh. Wow. No yeah, technology recognition using software. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So every time you check out a book, you have to scan a fingerprint. Mm-hmm. Retinal right, scan. Yeah, okay. The whole shebang. All the way outside. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I, was I, was I proceed in the library. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I wouldn't go in, I don't know. No, I'm going to go in. I'm st- I'm really interested in more of these symbols. Um, But yeah, if you guys want to just go to the tavern or something, I mean, you do what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, they're... We don't all have try, to be well. going, but... I don't know what else we could be doing at this time. We could try and go talk to the caravan people. Or we could be scouting out the, much, but... some maybe some spots in the kingdom, like uh, easier ways to get in, maybe like just Ren- like rena- renaissance, renaissance, rena- 
Ren, ren, I know what you're talking about. Recon, recon, reconnaissance. Yes. Reconnaissance. Yeah. That yeah. word. Yeah. It's a tricky word, Travic. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> they called me learned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they said he could read, not speak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you guys want to do that? I don't know. Seems a little weird. But I kind of want to go to the library because yeah. I can do this fire thing without the. Symbols. I don't know if you got yeah, well, if all you in the library, I should go to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, go sure. Yeah, come on. You guys were here before. You we're going to be more suspicious walking around near the palace or kingdom or whatever it's... This is the palace? Is that what you call the it? Inner city. You... Uh, the inner city has the palace <coughs> in it, but think of it as like a walled city inside a, a larger city. Mm-hmm. So there's like yeah. the city at large, which is like the outer cities where all the half-orcs live. And it's generally more impoverished, and there's a lot more crime, as you mm-hmm. guys witnessed, getting kidnapped and also robbed, and whatever else happened. Yeah. Um, but on the inner city, um, there's guards everywhere, and like everything's clean and orderly, and it's it's literally like a separate city. Yeah. So if we walk around the palace, people are going to be like, why are you walking around yeah, the palace? Yeah. Whereas if you guys do it, it's not going to be as noticeable. Just a couple of humans. We could hunt yeah. solo... Or, uh, or, um, I mean, Stormtrooper? I mean, Lando and oh, Chewie. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, we could just be imprisoned. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I could pretend that you guys uh, are. Additionally, in... given that you were both in the castle, uh, Lander and Vincent, yeah, um, you would have seen half orc um, servants in, yeah, in the. Yeah. Did I say prison? So potentially that's how no. we could get in, guys. Yeah, we could pretend to be house. servants oh. and therefore <laughs> come in I'll with them. Later. Sure. <laughs> 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 okay. Right, let's That's go an research. option. Anyway, okay, yeah, let's, we're at the library. So let's do some rolls. <laughs> How do you want to do this? How long do you want to spend in the library? We're at noon. Uh, Vincent, all night. That's for his prime. He loves <laughs> reading and books and learning. So okay. <laughs> I could be there all night. But we do want to get back to see what We Tua, do have to meet up with what Tua. What Tua but probably in like six hours yeah. to head back, so. Okay, mm-hmm. what we'll do is... Yeah, probably a good six you're, hours. You're specifically researching um, the magic symbols... I want to learn um, all I can and all the different types of runes that are possibly found in there. Okay. Also, I'm a little curious how Vincent didn't know anything about this great wizard, Randall Newton. If there's, like, You're from so across the sea from here. So there's nothing about him in my area of the world? Oh, okay. It'd be like, hmm. it'd be like um, this is a terrible analogy, but like local bands, you know? So like, yeah, no one okay. from Toronto's heard of Ghost Factory, but it's not because they're not awesome, it's because... They're not the <laughs> right? <laughs> like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> he's, like, he's like a local hero type thing. Yeah, yeah okay. Huh. Yeah, cool. Because he never achieved a state of God. Yeah. Or you would have heard of him. Right. But dang, dang mm. if he didn't try, you know. Bless his heart. <laughs> okay. I just, I want to be kind of researching what you're researching, but I just want to be learning how to draw them. Okay. Not completing them. I just want to be like doodling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can remember. Okay, mm. I'm going to burst your bubble a little bit. Some of the information that you're looking for doesn't exist in this library. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let you make a number of rolls. And basically, I'm going to wait for like however many successes that you need. Mm-hmm. And it's going to determine how, how long it takes for the rest of the day for you to, to uncover as much information about what you're looking for as is in the library. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to split it half and half. So half of the time... Learning about the different types of runes and glyphs. Mm-hmm. The other half, learning about the rings. Okay. And well, do you what want... they do exactly and how... I really want to find out how he uses them. Do you want to just do glyphs and signs? Because and, we could always do the rings and Randall Newton again. Who? You? Well, He's two. Lamb, 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 we're all... Lamb, we're all four. Basically, like, you should as well. Definitely. Yeah. All of us? But it's not like he's gonna give us different roles in his way, but like I don't know. It's up to you guys. Like I just say what I want to do, but if you guys want to yeah. do it, well, I for sure want to do the ring I have on and yeah, figuring out about my powers for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's so, true because it's so unique to you. It's yeah. true. Yeah, you just produce play whatever you want. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's do whatever you want then. Yep. Okay. How many rolls do you need to make? Um, well, so that's the thing. You're just gonna make as many. Oh, you need to, you need three successes. As many rolls as you can. So so each roll <laughs> each each roll is indicative of one half hour of study. Oh, okay. And you need three successes to to find all the information that you're looking for. 
And That's easy. so half hour. So so if it takes you like twelve rolls to get three successes, then it's taking you six hours to learn what you want to learn. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. That makes okay, sense. Okay, so let's allot ourselves so six hours for now. A success and then we'll get back and eat is and meet with oh, a tua. A success is thirteen Hector. or higher. Thirteen or higher. Oh, okay. And you can add your uh, nope. Uh, the intelligence the, 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 the modifier. Investigation. Ooh, investigation. Uh, yeah. yeah. Plus four. Nice. Plus up. nothing. Ooh, a natural <laughs> one. Okay, so oh. I should not. So, so just one. Just keep a track of how many rolls you make. Yes. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. I got one, two, three, four. Wow. <laughs> That's the odds of doing that are extremely low. Down, so I forget. Oh, 12. 13 is a success. Higher, yeah. Can I just count succeed and fail? Is that cool? Yep. No, you, want, you don't want to know the number? Oh, I, I need to know like oh, the sorry. number. How, how long it takes you to get, get three successes. <gasps> you got one! Like four hours for me. Four hours? Oh, oh yeah. I got, oh, yeah, right. I got three. I already have two Ooh, successes. Two. Four rolls. Four rolls. Yeah. So two yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, um, I'm speedy just over here. Speedy McReedy over here. Yeah. Well, I drove a bus. <laughs> speedy McReedy. That's, like, that's your new... <laughs> speedy McReedy. That's your new nickname. Not Speedy McGreedy. No. 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 Speedy McReedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! I did it in uh, two and a half hours. Ooh. Suckers. I did it in one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, and four and a half hours. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's worse than this. So you've got your A team and your B team. In the wait, how many did you roll? I rolled five. Because I only rolled four. How that's many? two hours. I did yeah. two and a half hours. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said one and a half hours. I was like, that doesn't matter. So you guys are the are the it. research A team, and you guys are the research. <laughs> Aww. Okay. I've never read a book in my life. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. And what were you guys looking for specifically? Did you have any specific? Um, well, I mean, I, I kind of think we should divide, but um, I. Um, <clears throat> Is this enough time to give us, like, sufficient information on, like, two different topics? Or just one topic? Mm, it'd be, like, one thing, yeah. One thing? I okay. mean, John split his efforts a little bit, but they were pretty related. I mean, that could take longer. But, I, I mean, like, two and a half hours. So, technically, if we go till six, do I still have, like, that extra time? What do you mean? Like, no. Because after, like after this took me two and a half hours to find out this piece of information I'm, I'm going to learn. Yeah, so what that means, basically, is that... Um, so like you, you first had to find a book that had the information that you were looking for, mm-hmm. and then you had to find the section of the book that had the information you were looking for, and then you had to like right. the piece of information. But do I do I have three and a half hours left to study, or is that the whole night? No, no, no. That's like so like the the failed rules indicate time in which you study time that wasn't productive. Um. So I'm like, so you're gonna research symbols, symbols and rings, symbols and rings. Yeah. You're gonna research. You're gonna doodle. I'm doodling. And that's what probably why it took me four and a half um, hours, honestly. How I can do it I was really rings. trying to remember them all. Yeah, I can breeze fire without the symbol. Okay. Should I just research Paladin Crab? You, you do, do whatever you want. Because like, I feel like <laughs> you're going to find sufficient... Our... You don't know that. I, I think I want to research a little more about Randall, maybe. Okay. Old Randy, they call him. Old um, Randy. Watch a man, Random Savage. Anything specific... <laughs> Uh, um, I'm not even sure what to give you about Randall. <laughs> you learned his, <laughs> hair, about that. his hair color. <laughs> he had blue eyes. Okay. And black, um, black hair. No, I'll, I'll, research, I'll research about, like... Soul. I'll, I, I, think, I think my guy would be more, like, researching more of a paladin. Yeah. And, like, famous paladins and, like, the th- stuff they've Maybe done. getting ready for your revolution. Yeah. Potentially? I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, just like paladins and crap and like... That's true. You could be learning about like how to lead a revolution. Oh. Or like... Yeah. What you could possibly be... You yeah, know. like well, like you're saying, like famous paladins, like maybe... Yeah, famous some... paladins, any revolutions they've ran. Um... <laughs> <laughs> paladins does, to me, don't really scream out revolution, but... No, I guess there like could a, be some. actually in the library. There's a whole series of books. Like now they have like the for dummies books. <laughs> How to for, yeah, for revolution? For so paladins. so you just found revolutions for paladins. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an easy step by step guide. <laughs> you know? I rolled that well. Nice. So good. That's right. Two and a half hours. Burned through that whole book. Okay, so uh, John, you're you're. Tr- 
Mr. Vincent is what <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> yes, you're right. That's what I was going to say. I don't know why you said mm, because you are Vincent. That's I am Vincent. I'm Vincent. sorry. I shouldn't have interrupted you. How dare you. <laughs> Alright, what about me? Uh, your character Vincent? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that it? Has some stuff. Oh. And um, you... Uh, the the most most of the information that you find out is is more about the rings than about um, mm. the symbols. Okay, right? That was the other thing. Symbols. Yeah, symbols and rings. Symbols and rings. And so, glyphs. And glyphs and symbols and rings. Yeah, yeah. Every <laughs> glyphs are symbols. I know. That's what I was saying. It's a joke. Uh, um, so you find information out about the rings, um, and what you are able to find out was simply from another um, biography of Randall Newton. One that uh, hadn't been encountered with the previous um, investigation, which was just Penelope and Travis. Okay. Um, it, and because there's no, you can't find any books that are specifically just about the rings. Right. What you find is books about Randall Newton that mention the rings. Okay. Okay. So like the information isn't, uh, it doesn't abound. You know, you get little nuggets from time to time. Okay. So uh, you found uh, this information about the rings and that. Um, each of the two rings has a name, but the names weren't inscribed in the book that you found. Um, but that the, the the rings predate Randall Newton, so they're oh. they're older than him, much 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 older. Uh, he didn't create them; he simply was luck, lucky enough to find them. Or okay. um, and, and it's unclear exactly how they came into his possession. Whether he oh. found hmm. them in a dungeon, whether he stole them from someone else, whether he, you know. But but okay. the rings the rings predate him definitely for sure. The the book th in which um, you found this information references another book um, that gives a, a history of a war that's centuries ago, like literally centuries. Um, and uh, where the rings are also mentioned by the same names that they're mentioned in um, the book that you're studying. Um, so, uh, but the library doesn't have the book that's being referenced, to, just to make that clear. Okay. Just, just okay. you know, for further information, see such and such a book. And then it's the account of have it. the war of, you know, 400 years ago. Right. So, um, but in the book that you're reading, uh, it gives further information, not a ton further information, but some further information about how it was that they were used, or, or not even really how they were used, but just like more information about them. Um, in this one, it specifically mentions that there's a black ring and a red ring, mm. and that um, each of the two rings corresponds with um, a certain... They, they keep referring to sort of this life cycle of flame. So mm. um, that the red one somehow has something to do with um, life and like flame itself, like fire, like active fire. And um, the black one has something more to do with ash and death and decomposition and destruction. So they both have some kind it's of cool. corresponding yeah. um, fixture within like a narrative that that isn't that, that isn't revealed in detail in the book. Um, but uh, he the essentially the the detail that the book does go into is that their combined power um, gives. Uh, uh, control over um, this sort of cosmic fantastic force of life and death um, Whoa. but in a way that specifically seems relevant or related to fire and flame so mm -hmm. um, and it's unclear exactly what that means uh, th there's I mean just like any old uh, script there's a lot of sort of vague language and um, anytime a, an academic isn't sure about something, they won't say the words, I'm not sure about this, but they'll just rephrase it in a way that's super vague and like, uh, you know, doesn't yeah, I hate impugn that. them, right? So <laughs> that's what I learned. That's what you learned. They yeah. control life and death in a way. Something like that, With yeah. some fire sprinkled in. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that specifically, okay. right. and that specifically that phrase of uh, life, like this life cycle of flame, um, uh, seems relevant to somehow or to some degree mm, okay. simply because it repeats itself so many times in the book um, in terms of what you find out about the symbols and this would be reflected in what anyone else that was studying symbols would, would have found out um, the symbols themselves um, there's not like an encyclopedia of symbols anywhere in the library that's mm. not like I mean that'd be great and that'd be so useful but there's not. So um, it turns out the the one book in the library that has the symbols written in it was the book that you found earlier. Mm -hmm. So and that's the only okay. one that has any. Um, there are other um, books that give like accounts of uh, magical artifacts that have glyphs on them or magical symbols on them, 
Um, but don't go any, in, into any illustrative detail as to what those symbols looked like. Um, so the book that you found the symbols in that corresponded with the symbols in the box, or at least resembled them, because again, you remember, of course, that the, the symbols in the box were different than the ones that you found in the book. Um, it has uh, four other symbols in it. Okay, so the if you remember the symbol or the symbols that you uh, were able to decipher so far was, was there was a symbol for fire, and there was a negation symbol or like a like a grammatical symbol that meant not, yeah, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, so there's also you find a symbol that means combine. Okay, it's like a conjunction word, so it's like an and or a with. Um, yeah, with yeah yeah yeah. Um, you also find a symbol that's uh, that corresponds with if then, so like if if such and such then this. So and then mm. this is what it says. Okay. Um, and then, <laughs> it's getting complicated. <laughs> you also find a, a symbol that corresponds with or, so a disjunction. Okay. So oh. you've got you've got and, not, uh, if then, and or. Mm-hmm. And those are the four symbols. That and is the combined you're saying? Yeah, and the okay. conjunction one. So conjunction. Um, negation, uh, disjunction, and what do you call that? Dejunction? And, uh, <laughs> and then the only other symbol I know is fi for fire. And then, so and then you've got a fire? fire? No. And then there's a, there's a symbol for lightning. Lightning. There's one for lightning? <gasps> yeah. Okay, now here's the, here's the, the thing though, right? The only symbols that you're able to decipher fully, or that you're able to reproduce, pardon me, are the ones that you've seen in the box. Because mm -hmm. um, not only are the you remember the illustrations right, not were complete. not complete in the sense that they were dotted lines, they also weren't complete in the sense that they were missing yeah. um, accents. little accents. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, but you have like the rough outline of what all the rest of those symbols look like. So the one okay. that I for sure can't really duplicate is lightning, right? Because mm -hmm. that wouldn't be in my box. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And no, well, and none of the other grammatical symbols are in your box either. And or or okay. if then. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so there's only fire well. and no like no fire is what's yeah, in my box. Yeah, fire and no fire is all you've got. But if the, and fire then there's another lightning. symbol in the box that doesn't correspond with any of the symbols that you found in the book. Okay. Oh, um, okay. So there's another. That, so you should yeah. remember that from like a, the, that was okay. yeah. in a previous. There's another symbol in the box that doesn't correspond yeah. okay. with any of the. That's kind of what I was looking for, but okay. It's so, not here. It's not here. Um, the relevant detail here, and this is player information more than character information, is that with additional study and experimentation, it might be possible to piece together what these would look like completed, since you know what a completed symbol looks like mm -hmm. versus right, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. with some more extra study. Yeah, yeah. So, so like if, at it. if well, someone also had like just really like high arcane doodling. training, for example, hmm. you might you might have some kind of bonus to further study this, but I it wouldn't be that. it wouldn't be like a one day sort of a thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. I'm going to copy that as well if you're, I mean, you know, we'll copy it together. Yeah. I'll make sure she's copying it right. Okay. <laughs> it's not insure. It's a little insurance for my... I just see him peeking over my shoulder constantly. I'm like, get over it, bud. I'm not... He's interested. straight up staring down your armor. <laughs> yep, uh, exactly. Her arm. That's what I said. What I just her arm. Yeah. What? Isn't that what I said? Nope. Another symbol in the box. She doesn't want her armor. That's odd. Did you just put the ice cream back in the freezer? I did. Okay, good. I was like, oh. <laughs> because I'm a good. Player. Okay, so that's a lot of things that I learned. And uh, okay, anyone else learning things? This could be the learning yeah. episode. Um, Traffic learned about paladins and their history. And 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 revolution. Randall. Or... Revolution. <laughs> revolution. Revolution. And then he's like, Dave, I'm looking up the wrong category." <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I wanted to learn about. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so um, you do some study, and um, you find, like, uh, if you're specifically looking for paladins who've le le led revolutions in the past, it's definitely happened. You know, mm -hmm. it's not, history is a big place, and um, there's lots of books about a lot of wars. And going back a few hundred years, uh, you find a story about a paladin um, that led a revolution against a wicked king. Um, and, um, and, but the revolution was, uh, it was like stopped cold, essentially. So it was um, it was a, an elf that led the revolution, and uh, he was a paladin of um, Merima, um, the god of death, mm -hmm. and um, 
Yeah, letter of revolution. Um, uh, and a, the, the history books say that he lost the support of his god uh, midway through the revolution. That's why they lost the war. Hmm. And then he was put down, essentially. But, um, yeah, there's, like, illustrations. There's, like... Um, so he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's long oh. since dead. This is hundreds of years ago. Hmm. So, hmm. No, no time in the present. Um, in terms of uh, paladins in general, so keeping in mind that a lot of the religions in Wraith Meyer are not centralized, the, that is to say they don't have like a central organization um, controlling right. their the dispersion of their doctrine through different cities, so each city sort of has its own sort of pocket of that religion that might approach things slightly differently than right. another town or another city, right? So um, so paladins and their place in the world is, is uh, again, player information, slightly different than... Um, you would find in like a standard D and D setting, mm -hmm. right? Because you, your approach to your religion is private, and you don't, you don't have to report to anybody, right? But it's also um, different in the sense that you don't have a direct line of communication with your deity, right? So you you have these powers, and you do have them. Like there's no doubting that. Um, and uh, but like the extent to which you exercise them. On behalf of your deity seems sort of like a prerequisite to whether or not those powers increase in strength. Does that make sense? So, so that's that's the way that the history books talk about paladins mm -hmm. is that their deity grants them a certain amount of power, and then the more they exercise that power for the benefits of that deity, um, the more their strength and power will grow. Um, to the extent that um, some of the most paladin or powerful paladins in history um, have become somewhat of like a demigod um, because if they continue to align themselves with the god um, then they they just continue to grow in power until they're they're nearly godlike themselves now the subtext mm. to that is that from time to time like in the revolution that you were reading about uh, paladin will do something that's so directly opposed to what the god um, would have wanted that they withdraw their power and that you can thereby lose magical abilities or whatever other powers you've been um, gifted. Um, so that's worth consideration, I guess. Um, with those sort of values in mind, given that um, your current uh, deity of worship is um, Gallus God of Thunder, um, the fact that um, uh, strength and virtue seems like so high on on like his list of uh, like virtues um, then uh, something like a revolution against the wicked king seems like it would be the sort of thing that would please Gallus. If that makes sense. Um, but but then again, Gallus. so would uh, so would taking uh, uh, supplies to a kingdom in need. So would any number of, of good virtuous acts, right? So um, the idea of using your strength to the benefit of others is essentially like the core of like that doctrinal thing. Does that sort of make sense? Yeah. So that's sort of what you read about and study while you're in the library. Um, Lander, remind me what you were saying. Um, so since I'm pretty new to my powers, I want to research if there's any more powers I can do, like if I can gain the ability to do more. Yeah. And also how I can do it without the, the symbols. I got gotcha. you. fire without that. Well, so can you change the power? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, it's actually really um, kind of unique and strange. Fairly quickly into your study, you find a small tome um, that was written by a third party about your specific tribe. Now, this tome isn't particularly new, so it's not right. It's not written about people that you knew in your youth. Um, the book itself is already 150 years old, which is, you know, that's a few generations ago in terms of, uh, you know, it would be like your great 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 grandparents that are like mentioned in there. Okay. Um, but um, it's specifically about your tribe. Now, given that it was written by a third party, you're taking a lot of the information that's in the book with a bit of a grain of salt because just like anyone who studied someone else's culture, they probably got some things wrong, right? Mm -hmm. um, but they, uh, the book was written about your tribe and specifically about your relationship with the volcano as a source of power. And um, that essentially the, the tribe itself seemed to sort of migrate to different points on the, on the volcano um, throughout different seasons of the year. And so it was a, it's a nomadic tribe. It lived in the wilderness, but it lived specifically as like with the volcano as like a member of the tribe, one that they um, 
contributed to by uh, upkeeping growth and things on the side of the volcano and um, offering sacrifices to the volcano itself, um, but one too that they um, gain strength from. And the book doesn't go into a lot of really clear detail, but there's definitely um, the suggestion that, um, like within the book, that there are magic users in the tribe and that that seems to be sort of an inherent uh, like um, ability, a, a, like a passed on ability from generation to generation. That not necessarily everyone in the tribe had that abil- had magical ability, but that it was infinitely more common in the tribe than than in the uh, mm. the rest of the world at large. And um, the suggestion is made in the book that that had something to do with their relationship with the volcano as much as it had to do with um, genetics or um, birthright or anything else, right? So okay. Yeah, so um, essentially the the text goes into, like, the, the greatest detail that it goes into is sort of talks about your relationship with the land and learning to channel the power from the volcano into your, your, your own purposes, essentially. So, yeah. There you okay. Go. Excellent. So that'll be a perfect spot to stop this episode, I think. <laughs> the <laughs> library. And everyone visit. lives happily ever after. <laughs> So thanks everybody for listening in and um, stay tuned for next episode. Thank you. Bye bye. After hours bye. library time. <laughs>